Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with My Home Kit Home and I know what you're thinking. You haven't changed clothes since the last video. Well, anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the video and this one we'll be talking about some automations that we can create using motion sensors. So we'll be using a few different items today. We'll be using the EVE motion sensor, but you can really use any HomeKit compatible motion sensor that you have, whether it's the Fabaro motion sensor, the Acara motion sensor, or even the Philips Hue motion sensor. Also, if you want to follow along exactly with what we're doing, you'll need some sort of smart lighting or a smart switch to control. I'll be using a Philips Hue white bulb as well as a Philips Hue color bulb. Finally, since it is an automation, we will need some sort of Apple Home Hub. This can be an Apple TV, it can be a HomePod, it can also be an iPad that kind of lives at home and is always on. So we'll be using Apple's Home app to complete this one today, so let's jump into it. Here we are in the Home app on the Automations tab and we'll tap the plus button at the top right. We'll go down to the bottom and select when a sensor detects something and we need to find our sensor. Here we'll be working in our pantry today with the motion sensor there so we'll select that one and tap next. Now we need to decide of our conditions. So here we can choose whether we want the condition to be based on if it detects motion or stops detecting motion. We want it to detect motion. Of course we can adjust our times there. I'm not so concerned about that, but I am concerned about when someone is home. So this means that anytime my wife or I are home, it will be triggered. Okay, so we'll go now after tapping next to the accessories and I want to add a single accessory since I don't actually have a scene since it's just one light. Not so worried about it. So we'll go all the way down to the pantry and we'll tap the pantry light. Now that we've selected our accessory, we'll go to the actions for the accessory. We want to make sure that we tap it to toggle it on. However, since this is a dimmable bulb, we can select the brightness there. I'm fine with 100%. We can also test the automation if we would like. However, remember that this doesn't test the automation, but rather only the accessory itself. We can also choose if we want this to time out. Rather, it would be, you know, just a simple turning off of the device since it does turn on a device. Um, you can set that between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, and then in 15 minute increments up until one hour after the automation has been triggered. Once we are satisfied that all of our actions are in fact the way we would like them, we can go ahead and tap that done button at the top right and that will aggregate the automation to the automations list. But we're not quite done yet unless we want that light to stay on forever. So we'll go ahead and set up another automation to turn off the light. And we'll go through the same process except this time instead of selecting the detects motion condition, we'll actually choose the stops detecting motion condition. But everything else will be the same. We'll choose our when somebody is home because this only really needs to happen when my wife or I are home. And we'll go down to the bottom all the way there and we'll tap on our pantry. There it is. And we'll tap next and then we'll make sure it's off. It is. And we'll tap done because we have no other conditions that we need or conditions or actions that we need to do. And we're all set. Let's have a look at how this looks IRL. Well, folks, that about wraps it up for me today. I do appreciate you watching. And until next time, this has been Dustin with my home kit home. Hey, look at that. You stuck around. Thanks for doing so. Couldn't get one past you, could I? So I mentioned at the top of the video that we'd be using a Philips Hue color bulb. And here's what we'll be doing with it. You know, before HomeKit cameras were a thing and before security systems were a thing in HomeKit, I had this idea for turning all the lights in my house red once motion was detected, but nobody was home. So here's how to set that up. So basically we're performing the same steps as our first automation and we'll choose that motion sensor in the pantry and let's see here we only thing we want to change that's different is we want to make sure that we select when nobody is home then we'll tap next at the top right and 
we can see that I've got this scene called Busted. And that is the scene that I've set up that actually turns all the lights in the house red. So I don't really need to do very much with that. I don't ever want this to turn off. And here's how that looks. So as you can see there, we've got some pretty basic things that we can do with our motion sensors, as well as some relatively creative ways that we can use motion sensors as well. I've used motion sensors in the past also to trigger certain actions to happen at certain times in certain rooms. For example, before I had this studio, I had a larger room that I used as a home theater. And what I assumed was that after 7 p.m., if I was going into that room, I was probably Probably going to watch a movie so I got our popcorn machine heating up I just connected it to a smart plug and that started heating up as well as the lights dimmed to a specific color and the automation would also run to turn on a fan to a relatively low speed so that it wouldn't disturb the movie too much so as you can see the more that you sort of analyze your habits and see what's going on with you and the people who live and use your home then you can see that we can get pretty creative with some of these automations and take out some of those tedious little tasks of turning different things on whenever you want to complete just one certain thing how do you use motion sensors in your home kit setup? Let us know in the comments down below. All of the products that we use to make today's video can also be found in the description box below. If you're thinking about picking those up, we would appreciate you using one of our links. Also in that there description box, you'll find links to all of our social media as well as the blog over at myhomekithome.com. As always, if you found the video useful, we'd appreciate a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the bell notification so you don't miss any of our content as soon as it's released. Well, folks, that about wraps it up for me today. I do appreciate you watching. And until next time, this has been Dustin with my video.